Palm Royale, Carol Burnett. You're in the new series, Palm Royale, about a fancy Palm Beach country club in 1969. Who do you play? I play Norma, who is a matriarch mm -hmm. and kind of runs the whole society thing. Mm -hmm. uh, she uh, has secrets on everybody. She's kind of a blackmailer, mm -hmm. and she has secrets of her own. And in the first two or three, three episodes, she's in a coma. Wait a second. Yeah. So you, three, first three episodes, you're in a coma. Yeah. How does one do good coma acting? Well, <laughs> because the reason I ask is that it's, it's more than sleep, but less than death. Yeah, well, you, you, you nailed it. Uh, what, <laughs> uh, I would get up at five in the morning, as we do, and go to the set. And then you get in the makeup trailer and you get all made up and everything and dressed. And then I went to bed. <laughs> yeah. And I you just laid out. I did lay out, yeah. And I got paid. <laughs> nice just, work if you can get it. Like <laughs> wow. But then I do uh, start to wake up, of course, later on. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want anybody to know that she's kind of coming out of it. Oh. Because she, She's not a very nice person, but they're the, the most fun to play. <laughs> Your character is uh, obsessed with power, but also yeah. money. Uh -huh. Now, you did not grow up with much. No. And I am, I am curious how your family stretched a dollar. Like, what did you do well, to get high? Well, I, my grandmother raised me, and we lived in one room with a pull-down Murphy bed that she slept, slept on, and I slept on the couch. Mm. Uh, and, uh, but we would save our pennies to go to the movies. That was our one thing. And so when we were about to leave, Nanny, my grandmother, would say, let's hit the ladies' room. And we did, and then we would steal all the toilet paper. There you go. Oh, yeah. You gotta use your head, you gotta use your noggin there. Um, the costumes on this show oh, they're are gorgeous, incredible they? works of art. Here you are, uh -huh. here you are as Cleopatra, <laughs> for some reason. <coughs> Here you are as Marie Antoinette, yep. for another reason. And you've always had fantastic costumes. And Bob Mackie. You work with Bob Mackie. Oh, yeah. I'm just curious, how does the costume inform or change your performance? Completely. There were times when I didn't know how I was going to do a character until I went to the costume fitting, and Bob Mackie put me in what it was that he was going to design. Like, for instance, Mrs. Wiggins. Sure. That tight <laughs> dress. Yeah. Originally, uh, Tim Conway wrote those characters, and he uh, had written Mrs. Wiggins to be this kind of doddering old lady. Sure. So I went into costume fitting that week, and Bob Mackie said, you know, we've been doing a lot of doddering old ladies lately. Let's make her into this bimbo mm -hmm. whom the IQ fairy never visited. <laughs> and, and so he put me in the blonde wig and the push-up bra and the tight, tight skirt, but it was an old skirt that he'd had uh, you know, in the costume department, and it bagged in the behind. Oh. And I said, oh, oh and you know, also he put me in these stiletto high heels. And, and it was, the skirt was tied around the knees, but it bagged in the And I said, Bob, I'm flat back there. You're gonna have to take this in. And he said, no, no, stick your behind into it. And I did, and that's how the walk happened. <laughs> and that, Work in the suit. <laughs> And that, uh, that, gave, that gave me my character. I understand that when you were a, a young actress trying to make it, yeah. you and some of your friends had uh, a special audition dress? Oh, I lived at a place called the Rehearsal Club here, which was a, a wonderful boarding house housed, that housed women who wanted to be in the theater. It was all very much on the up and up. We didn't have much money at any, anything. And so I decided that five of us should go to Bloomingdale's, and each one of us, we put in $5, so we got a, a dress for $25 that would stand out in auditions. And we, we were all, we were built here the same and in the waist, so we got that, that fit, but then uh, it was a full skirt that would hide any fat rear ends, and you know, and your long sleeves and turtleneck, and it was orange, and it stood out. And then if you had an audition, we would sign up for the dress, wear it for the audition, bring it back to the club, be responsible for having it cleaned, and then hung back up in the closet 
waiting for the next person to use it. Wow. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. I mean, I got a few callbacks. I didn't get the job, but... Uh, <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah, yeah, right, absolutely. Carol, it's such a joy to see I you. Thank you. you so much Thank for being you. here. Tom Royale is available now on Apple TV+. Plus. It's Carol Burnett, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Waxahachie featuring M.J. Lenderman.